I'm going to show you how to make pot au choux. Pot au choux is the dough that's used for cream puffs and eclairs, but today we're going to do more than that. We're going to make some really fun shapes. We're going to pipe out some shapes that you didn't think you could do with pot au choux. So let's get started. Pot au choux starts with water and butter that we cook together. You want to chunk up your butter into small pieces before you start cooking this because you want your water to come up to a boil and your butter to melt all at the same time. You don't want to have a big hunk of butter in there and have your water boil away. You'll throw off your water and butter ratio. So we're going to put this on a medium heat, allow the butter to melt and the water to come up to a boil all at the same time. When your butter melts and your butter and water have come up to a full hard boil, and that's a boil that you can't stir down, then you're going to turn your heat off and immediately dump in all of that flour all at once, just like that. Then we're going to stir this, no heat, we've turned the heat off. We're going to stir this and the flour is going to mix in with your water and butter mixture and it's going to form a ball in here. So just keep stirring until all that flour is mixed in. So you can see how it wants to clump up and form a ball. You're done. This is the first step. We're going to let this cool down to 140 degrees and then we will put this on the mixer and add eggs. So there you go. If you don't have an instant read thermometer to check the temperature of your dough, then just be sure that it's cool enough that when you put your fingers in, you can leave your fingers in for several seconds without yanking them out and screaming because it's too hot. So at this point, we're going to put our dough into the mixer and we're going to use the paddle attachment for this. And then on low, we will add our eggs in stages, which means a little bit of time. So I have broken up the eggs here with a fork. It's easier to control the amount of egg that I add to the mixer. So we'll add a little bit of egg. You want to watch your dough. You want that egg to be absorbed by the dough before you add your next amount of egg. So each time you add some egg, you'll see that it, your dough gets a little sloppy, a little messy. It tends to break apart. But as it mixes and the dough absorbs the egg, it comes back together. And once it comes together again and forms a smooth, cohesive dough, then we'll add some more egg. When your dough is done and has the right amount of egg, it should have some flow to it. It should have a nice sheen to it. Like that, it will be glossy. And it will be a little sticky, but it won't be real gunky gluey. And it, as I put my pot of choux into the bag, then I can grab the spatula and clean the spatula with my hand, which is underneath the collar here. So a little trick that is very helpful is I use this pot of choux as glue, and I glue the corner of my parchment down to the paper. So for the heart shape, I'm going to hold my tip at an angle to the pan. I'm going to build up a bit of a bulb, pull down, teardrop at an angle, and do a second one just like that. So the swan shapes are a large teardrop shape. I'm going to pipe my filling and I'm going to let it build up and flare out, come down, and as I come down this direction, I taper the teardrop by releasing the pressure on my bag. For the swan necks, I have a small plain cake decorating tip, and it's almost like piping the number two. I'm going to pull a little bit of dough, make a beak, leave my tip in one spot, build up the pressure, and pipe ahead, come down, and end it there. When you bake your pot of choux, start hot 400 degrees for 10 minutes and turn the oven down. To tell if you are done, you want to have even color. You don't want to have light crevices, light valleys, and darker ridges. And when you test the pot of choux with touch, you can touch the top if it doesn't give and it's rigid, it's done. Slice the top of the eclair off using a sharp serrated knife. 
And then we're going to fill these little heart-shaped eclairs with pastry cream. And we're going to dip the top in chocolate ganache. And place those on top. There you go, chocolate eclair hearts, perfect for Valentine's Day. Okay, we're going to assemble the strawberry swan. These will be the lovebirds for Valentine's Day. So we're going to cut the top off of our cream puff. Cut the top in half lengthwise for wings. Then we will fill the bottom with some chopped strawberries. And we'll put some whipped cream on top of the strawberries. And if you'll notice the shape of these cream puffs is a shell shaped. The wider part is the front of the swan, tapers to the back. We'll put the head at the front. We'll cover that with a little more whipped cream. And then we will take the top, which will become the wings, position those right like that. And then we will dust this with powdered sugar, like so. And there we have the strawberry swans. See, aren't these fun? And they're simple to make. You can make these. Just go buy some tips and some disposable bags, make up some pot of shoe, pipe whatever shapes you like. Have fun with it. <laughs>